Welcome back everybody to another edition of Gainers Paradise. In this episode, another Golden Era Gains workout. So today is going to be, well today was a difficult choice because in the world of the Golden Era bodybuilders, there were a ton of bodybuilders I could have chosen. Uh, this one I think makes a lot of sense after you know what we're gonna train and the workout in which we are following to train. So. Just a little background on this guy. I think you're gonna know who he is anyway, but some of you may have heard that he um, was the world's strongest bodybuilder uh, back in the golden era. In fact, setting records at 185 pounds, benching 525, squatting 655, and deadlifting 750 pounds in competition Guys, that's insane. Uh, you may know him as the Sardinian Strongman. He is a two-time Mr. O, a legend in bodybuilding, the sidekick to Arnold, Mr. Franco Colombo. They met back in 1765. Wait, what? They met back in 1965 at the beginning of the golden era. And they became fast friends. They trained together, hit it off from the get-go. When Joe Weider pulled Arnold across the ocean to California, Arnold insisted that he also bring over Franco. So that's exactly what happened. The rest is history. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I got a nice tasty pre-workout meal that I, I, I need to get down. Some of you are going to find it delicious and amazing. Others will think I'm crazy and you'll probably unsubscribe. So with that, let's get to it. There's work to do. pull downs. Mike is going a little bit wider than I'm gonna go, but overall, it's about. Because I have a skinny back. <laughs> so I'm trying to go as wide as I can. Is that right? Yeah. It's nope. not my fault that your back is the size of the door. But... <laughs> okay. Don't let him fool you, ladies and gentlemen. His back is wide, flaring out the shirt. This is Paul's warm up. You can see how he may have stacked it. Uh, no, no, no. Three quarters. Three quarters stack. You see how Paul goes a little closer because he's scared to go wider. <laughs> Going from pull downs to T bar rows, I like to hit uh, an acclimation set to acclimate to the movement, not necessarily to warm up, just to fire off the nervous system and get in the right motion as far as uh, my body responding to the movement so I can go in the first work set with all the power that I can generate from the get. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Full range, touch the floor, pull all the way up, try to keep the back low, and then we'll go up from there. Thank <laughs> you. 
success on those T-bar hips. So old school, so dialed, so much power. Felt real good, well worth it. Now on to see the cable rows, a little bit wide. That's right, that's right. All right guys and girls, this one is not about weight, it's about high quality movement. Two styles on these seated cable rows. The way I do it is a little more rounded back, a little bit more lean forward, and my heat sits up high, lets it stretch all in the shoulder joint. Still effective. The grind is not stop. Finishing those seated cable rows. We're on to dumbbell rows on the bench, on the incline bench. He's starting at 85. He's keeping that stretch low and the body locked in. Here we go. See, I'm going a little bit forward. Stretching it forward, going back to the hip. There it is. And the other arm. Long mowers. There we go. Big stretch on the lats. Big squeeze to the top. Back to the hip. Yep. Full range of motion. Gets the job done. There it is. Good. Big squeeze, big finish. Come on. Come on. No ease. Yep. There we go. Big back, big back. 145s. That a boy. Me now. Pull. Five more. Four more. One more. There it is. Okay, okay, one more. Yeah, buddy. The face of death. 